This video from Sharper, we're going to demonstrate how to set up and use the training mode function on the XEA217 register. Um, now the way the Sharps work, or in particular the XEA range, is that there's no training mode on the machine as such, but you can set up an operator to be a training operator. So on the register you can program up to 25 clerks and set one of them as the training mode clerk. So if you've got a new member of staff and wanted to train them on using the machine, you'd simply sign in as the training mode operator and then the machine would effectively be in training mode so the sales would be recorded but only under a training mode total and not appear on the main uh, report where it lists out the PLU sales, cash and draw and all that sort of thing. Uh, it's really straightforward to do, programming mode. So mode, line 6 PGM mode, TLNS, setting, TLNS, down to personnel which is line 5, TLNS, into training clerk which is line four and then all you do is type in the operator number so you see i've actually already done it uh, i've got training mode um i've got code 10 let's just to prove you can do it i'll set this one as training clerk 10 12 12 so you type in the number press tlns and then that's it all you need to do is then you could set up a passcode so if you wanted to protect the training mode you could assign the training clerk with a passcode but I'm not going to bother um, so if I wanted to now enter the training mode I'm in the reg mode simply type in 12 CLK hash I can then use the machine process sales and these sales will not be recorded so it's a good way of um, showing someone how to use the till then so you get training mode oops appear on the um, any receipts that get printed out so the key thing to remember is when you finish doing the training is to log back either log out as training mode 12 by pressing the CLK hash button or logging in as a different operator um, might be worth putting a passcode on the training mode clerk because otherwise you might get people playing um, well, doing things they shouldn't be doing on the till. You probably want to leave the training mode protected, but that's obviously up to you. It's really easy to do. You simply go to mode, PGM, setting, personnel, and then go into clerk here. Go to the one you've set up as the training mode clerk. Give it a passcode. Escape cancel out of it. Now, if I try and log in, you, I'm, I know how to access the training mode, or think I do. If I don't know this passcode, it's not going to let me log in. Um, it'll just keep coming up without error unless I know the passcode. So that'd be why you might want to protect the training mode. Um, you try, I'll just show you the report. So at the end of the day, if you did some sales, let's do some sales, non-training. So we've got different totals to add up. So the training mode does appear on the till as standard as a total. So you've got TR here, so that's the £30 we did on the training mode. I think you can, I've got another video showing you how you can get that not to appear on the report. But it, it's a legitimate thing to appear on the board because it's training mode. Um, and it's, it's not included in here, so there's no reason to take it off. You've got your £50 there that we did with that second sale. Um, and the £30 we processed through the training mode does not appear anywhere else on the report. Okay, yeah, so that's how to set up and use the training mode on the XEA217. I hope that's been helpful. Um, there's other videos appearing on how to use and program the 217 appearing on screen now, which you're welcome to watch. You can also subscribe to this YouTube channel or visit sharphelp.co.uk for more. Thanks for watching.